Okay, Lo, we got it. I invite 30 people from the golden age of this camp, but what do I get? I get you guys. It's a sad state of affairs. Is it me? I don't remember smelling this much like urine. It always smelled like urine. That's how you could find the place when you came up the hill in the dark. You know, Gwen and I run three miles every morning as a warm-up before we work up. Right, baby? Right. We really ought to spend the rest of this week coming up with an elaborate way to kill those two. You're not actually going to make us take a swim test, are you? First day at camp, you always have to take a swimming test. Go! Not even close. <laughs> Too bad, you've gotten kind of sexy. Very, very good. <gasps> He's a moron. No wonder you're so attracted to him. I hope I didn't offend any of you. No. Touchstone Pictures presents the story of eight friends returning to the best summer of their lives. Being up here is just making me so emotional, you know? <laughs> Somebody really needs to just smack me one. Oh, I want to be a kid again. Indian Summer. I've lived off of women all my life. It's my talent, getting women to do what I want them to do. Bartender, this one's on her. He was charming. Who is it? He's gorgeous. He can't take his eyes off you. He was wealthy. Was your wife rich? Very. So you stand to inherit a great deal of money. And I've earned every penny. He was a real lady killer. God put too damn many attractive women on this earth. Hasn't anyone ever said no to you before? My wife said no just before I threw her out the window. We're dealing here with a case of cold-blooded murder for profit. <laughs> you find it amusing, being charged with murder? I want you to defend me. He's a slimy son of a bitch. But the question is, is he a murderer? We need to get one thing very clear. I did not murder anybody. The moment she took his case. You know, it's funny, I actually believe you. Liars are seldom as blunt. I guess I got me an attorney. He took control. What did you tell her? Everybody knows we're lovers. There's nothing going on with me and this guy. I'm not attracted to him. He's butting into our lives, so I say dump him. And he has her where he wants her. I'm forbidden to repeat anything you tell me. Does that pertain to just the current crime that I'm charged with, or would that include any other murders? You can't turn him in unless you want to kiss your career goodbye. He can take me down with him. Like that. Rebecca De Mornay. Well, we had this whole thing worked out in advance. Don Johnson. Frankly, I'm beginning to tire of you. I swear to tell the whole truth. Jeremy won't hurt you. He needs you. And nothing but the truth. I know what happens when he doesn't need me anymore. So help me, God. Guilty as sin. Do you think you can stay out of trouble for two days? I'm this close to doing a deal that's gonna bring me more money than you can imagine and I ain't let nothing mess it up. Ex-con Jack Charles thought he could get away with anything. You ever think we'd make a score like this? Huh? Until fate came knocking. Hi, Daddy. Dad! You got kids? We never did blood tests, but... We're going with you, Jack! In your dreams, kid! Now he's a wanted man. Radical, Dad! Don't call me that. With some unwanted company. Jack, I'm hungry. Dad, Dad, I have to go to the bathroom. I hate all this family crap. Hollywood Pictures presents... Hit the road, Jack. The story of a man who set out to become a crook. Don't you care about how we feel? What have you two done to me? And ended up... What do you got on that truck anyway? My kids are on that truck. A father. Dad! So we had fun yet? Yeah, Dad! This is great, isn't it, Dad? I can't see life. You see life. The man has no idea how to raise children. <laughs> Patrick Swayze. Watch you, Jack! Jack! Come on, let's go. Let's party. Fatherhood.
they've been friends for years. I can think of no finer people uh, to see the new year in with than with your good selves. I see them once every century. What's all this, then? It's called the pot belly, Andrew. We have those in England, along with culture. You never change, do you? What do you mean? They can look past each other's failings. I could feel the cellulite building up on me on the plane. She's fine when she's asleep. I heard that! Thank you, darling. They can forgive each other's mistakes. You are stuck in a recurring pattern. You know those mice that go around on those little wheels? Imagine one wearing a tight leather skirt. We can't all have our lives figured out as well as you do. And they can admit their secret passions. Peter, fill me with your little babies. Oh, my God! But can they survive a weekend in the same house together? Peter's never been very interested in women. You slept with Sarah. I know you did. Oh, my dear, the Archbishop of Canterbury slept with Sarah. Remember how in love you were with Andrew here? Is there anyone else down there you used to sleep with? This is ruining our marriage! I don't think so. Well, congratulate me. I see you've turned Andrew back into an alcoholic. <laughs> Maggie into an erotomania. Oh! Sarah into a nun. You make Mother Teresa look like a hooker. <laughs> it's not going exactly as I planned. Get to know Peter and his friends as they get to know each other. Actually, I no longer sleep with men or women. All over again. If I did, I promise you, you'd be right up there on my wish list, together with Michel Pfeiffer and River Phoenix. Peter's friends. How long have you been married now? Almost three years. It's quite a long time for Hollywood, isn't it? Yeah. Did you get some kind of plaque? Yes, we stay together five years, I get free hair transplants, and she gets a new set of breasts. Not so she'll have four. Yes, but her agent gets one. Then, no, no, stop it! <laughs>